Hey everyone, look right over here at the screen. Let me get your attention real quick. Now let me see those muscles. Come on, flex them. Come on, let me see it. Come on, let me see it. Is it the girls that are stronger, the boys? Come on, let me see it. Girls, boys, come on, flex them. Well, you know who is the strongest? That's right, you guessed it, it's God. Let's say today's bottom line, God is stronger together on the count of three. Ready, one, two, three. God is stronger. Last week, we learned about Gideon. God had called Gideon to take Israel back from the Midianites. Do you know that he was the fifth judge of Israel? Cool fact, huh? Anyways, it wasn't going to be easy, but God told Gideon it would be like fighting only one man, just one man, one-on-one. -on -one. Many of the Israelites heard that God had sent Gideon to help them defeat the Midianites. Lots of people wanted to join Gideon and help. Now, just after a short time, get this, Gideon had 32,000 people in his army and they were ready to attack the Midianites. Whoa, that's like, that's like, that's like 6,500 families. That's like 2,666 dozen eggs. That's like, here for your football fans, that's like 603 NFL football teams. Come on, that's a lot of people. God had said to Gideon, you have too many soldiers. If you fight this battle and win, everyone will think you did it by yourself without my help. Uh-oh. Gideon told anyone who was afraid that they could just stay home and not fight the battle. Well, 20,000 people went home. That was more than half of them. Who said, uh, see ya, peace. Maybe I would've been in that group of people uh, not really wanting to go to war. Well, what do you think? Well, this left only 10,000 men, but God thought that was still too many. God decided to have Gideon test the men that remained by how they drank water. Mm. God said to Gideon, tell everyone to drink water from a stream. Okay. When Gideon took his warriors down to the water, the Lord gave him very specific directions. God said, divide the group of men into two groups. In one group, put all those who cup waters in their hands and lap it up with their tongues like dogs. In the other group, put all those who kneel down and drink water with their mouths in the stream. Kinda weird, right? Well, maybe this was because the men who cup the water with their hands could see the enemy still and stay alert, whereas the other men couldn't watch their surroundings because they were putting their heads in the water. The Bible doesn't say what the position meant, but it was God's way of choosing less soldiers. The whole point of a small army is to show that God would help them with his strength and not their own. Gideon tested the men and only 300 of the soldiers remained. So out of the 10,000 men, now only 300 were left. Now that is not a lot for an army. The Bible says in Judges 7:7, 7, 7, the Lord told Gideon, with these 300 men, I will rescue you and give you victory over the Midianites. Send all the others home. Wow. God promised Gideon that he would give him strength to win the battle. Let's say today's bottom line, God is stronger together on the count of three. Ready, one, two, three. God is stronger. That night, Gideon and his servant Pura went down to the edge of the Midianites' camp. All of the people for the east were camped in that valley. It was basically full of the Israelites' enemies. The Bible says that there were so many of them that it seemed like locusts, that they had so many camels no one could count them. There were as many as the number of grains of sand on the seashore. All of those people, all of those animals, and Gideon only had 300 men. What you have to remember is that Gideon didn't just have 300 men, he had God. This is an opportunity for God to show his strength. It wasn't the strength of a large army that would win the battle, it was a small army, but with God's power leading them to victory. Gideon knew it was time for their attack onto the enemy. He went back to the camp of Israel, he called out to them, get up. The Lord has defeated the army of Midian for you. 
he separated the men into three groups and gave each of them a torch, a trumpet, and an empty pitcher. God told them to pay attention and to do what he and his men did when they did it. His plan was to surround the enemy camp. When Gideon blew his trumpet, the other men would blow their trumpets too. Then they would shout, for the Lord and for Gideon. Gideon and the 300 men went and surrounded the camp. All of them were to light their torches and hide them inside of the pitcher. At the right moment, everyone was instructed to break the pitchers, revealing the torches, and blow their trumpets at the same time. Wow. They made their move in the middle of the night, and God caused the Midianites to panic ah, and began to fight amongst themselves. The Israelites chased all of the Midianites until they were really far away. God gave the Israelites the strength to do what he asked. God will never call us to do something that he isn't willing to help us accomplish. Because of Jesus dying on the cross, we're able to have God living inside our hearts. Pretty cool. When we are weak, he is strong for us. God is stronger than any situation that we will ever be faced with. There is nothing, and I mean nothing, stronger than our God. See you soon.